my father and a lot of men in town started a ski club. So from the time I was really three years old, I skied every weekend on Red Mountain. And it was a big mountain and a tough mountain, and so I became a good skier. A large part of my training was uh, for strength, and I think I can say that I was stronger pound for pound than any of the girls I was racing against. I was probably the first international racer that did weight lifting for strength training, and that came about because I had broken my leg when I was 17, and I met a man in my hometown, Charlie Coughlin, who helped me get started in weight training. It gives you a tremendous sense of self-confidence to know that you're strong. Then you know you can take chances, and if you fall, you're not going to get hurt. At the Olympics in Squaw Valley, I was there when Anne Hegvit won her gold medal. It was really incredible, the effect it had on me, uh, seeing her happiness and the excitement and all the telegrams pouring in. And um, I think it really made me decide that that's what I wanted to do. Being hurt three weeks before the Olympics, um, in some ways, was good because it took the pressure off me. When we went to Grenoble, the press especially were busy saying, how's your ankle, how's your ankle? And I, it's almost as though I had a built-in excuse. If I hadn't performed well, they would have blamed it on my ankle. The first race was the downhill, and I went too wide on the gates, so I wound up 10th, and I was really disappointed. But I, I put it behind me, and the next race was the slalom. been doing very well in slalom up until that time in 68. So I concentrated on the course, and I guess because I was a little more experienced than some of the other girls, I wound up with a silver medal. And that really gave me a, a big dose of uh, sort of self-confidence and really set me up for the giant slalom. I worked. I never worked as hard as I did that day. I skated and I pulled and I pushed and I had, I had studied the course. I knew exactly where to go. And I, I really, not only did I ski sort of the perfect line, but I, I did the extra pushing and pulling that really made a difference on that hill. And coming into the last pitch where it was very steep and icy, I hung on not too much. I let my skis go at the last moment and pushed again across. And I saw that I was way ahead. I had a big lead. And, you know, I think at that point, the biggest sensation for me was relief because I knew in my heart, even though I hadn't said that I was going to retire, I knew that it would be my last season and that was the only chance I had to win. And I remember the ceremony and standing up on the podium and trying so hard not to cry. For years afterwards, people come up to me and say, I remember, you remember I was driving along the freeway and I heard you won and I almost drove off the road. And, I was shaving and I heard you won and I cut myself. And, you know, people remember the weirdest things, but it had a tremendous impact. 